Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review for The Great Jahi Will Not Be Defeated, episode 18. Um, for what has the title, um, Sawa Can't Lose, I think. You know, I think it was Sawa Can't Lose. And I thought it was, once again, another great episode. Once again, I say the same thing, another great episode. And now, because now the thing, we got only got two episodes left now, man. Cause it's been, but this, it's been a real long journey for, especially for Jahi, you know. And by this time, when this episode ends, you know, she, it, it, I know I said before, she is definitely has changed. She's, and I would say she's not the same as she's not the same evil person how she was once before. She's definitely become more human. Like I said, she's become more human. She, you know, how this episode goes, and with her, with her, she, how she's made a really dear friend, especially with Kokoro, and yeah, she, I would say she's now. Hu become human now she's not the same evil person as she was like how in the previous episode how druji was explained she definitely has changed you know even though the fact that she has changed her, her druji herself has changed as well because they've been so long in this human world they both have changed but so they're not the same form or evil uh, of the evil cells that they were that they once were they both become more good people more human and it was really nice to see how this long journey of them, especially Jahi, has become, you know. But anyway, getting how, how this uh, starts off, it ended with Sawa, you know, talking to that spirit. The spirit comes in saying, you want power. And it gives her this power, like it changes her attire from like this bluish, whitish outfit. And a little bit of acceleration of power. She can, you know, hop from building to building. And she can see the, seek out the manga crystals like what the spirit says, you know. Uh, eradicate misfortune and eradicate the manga crystals and then when she sees Jahi she finally th sees this opportunity to finally defeat her and when she makes her his, 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 makes her his, her presence to her um, say do you know who I am is like I don't know who you are Jahi was like I don't know who you are and she's like what you must know me you know and it's like no and like oh will you remember what you know my name Oh, uh, it must be, um... Wait, don't tell me... No, I don't know. <laughs> and so, she attends, She explains how I tend to defeat you. She re makes this this, uh, this light sword come up here. And the thing is, she, 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 uh, she stabbed her, though. But the thing is, though, it didn't work. And when she keeps on just doing this constantly up until when it gets nighttime, it was, just tick it was pretty much just, just tickling her. Probably because, you know... Mainly because a Jahi is not an evil person anymore, you know. So it's a it's a it's a sort of light basically. But thing is though, Jahi is not an evil person anymore. She's not like a dark person anymore. So she becomes just become more human in the world, interacting with more humans, making friends and all that stuff, being kinder to people. She's basically become more light than darkness than her, in herself basically. So that's part of the why the sword didn't work. And so I was able to say, why doesn't this do, doesn't do work? This, I got I, get, I got this power, but they didn't do dealing shit for me. And so since uh, since uh, Jahi can show, like she can, since she got the mount crystals, her powers have increased greatly, and she sure shows what she can do. And then Saw goes and just goes and runs away, as per usual. But she oh, but she a positive thing. She oh, she knows my name now. That's great. I'll defeat her next time. Oh my god, the, the, the humor and the chemistry between these characters is such, um, fabulous, I could say. It's, it's great. <laughs> like I said, this, this anime has really become, it's, it's one of the best gem of an animes I've seen in a long time. There's no doubt about it. With, especially, especially in characters and animation and, especially, especially the growth of these characters, especially for Jahi, especially. Um, and then you get to one part where, um, uh, where Kokoro, the little girl that she befriends, uh, she, which she, she, she is now, uh, you know, since, uh, how Jahi says uh, her things that work for her as her underlings, but things that she openly admits that she's made a friend, which she, she hardly ever, uh, where she hardly uses, so, like, she explains to her, to the landlord, to the landlady, she's my friend, and the landlady's like, oh, really, <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, and I like the character Kokoro. Like, she's been a really nice addition to this uh, series. 
even despite, you know, Kokoro knows who she is, but she still thinks that she's a really good person. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she sees, uh, Charlie sees Kokoro, though, but Kokoro's been avoiding her. And Jolly does not know why. She, uh, late even Lanley explains, did you say something to her to hurt her in any way? Did you do something to her to hurt her? She has no idea. She must have, she wants to think that she must have did something wrong. And this is why we get more of this, more, this human, more, how, how Jolly is now more human than she is now. She's become more human. And it's like, she feels totally bad for Kokoro. She is, she wants to apologize to her. You know, whatever I did to hurt you, I'm so sorry. I can say to say that she's not, she's not full, she's not like a demon, well, she is still a demon, right, but I'm saying she's more human now. She's a human being now. And the next time she sees her, she's still, uh, Coco's still running away from her, but she catches up to her, Jolly catches up to her holding her hand, saying, whatever I did to, to, to upset you, I'm sorry, let's make up. But, it, but this whole misunderstanding is that, uh, is that, uh, Kokoro, she has a bad tooth. Wherever, wherever it is, she has a bad tooth right here, and she doesn't want Johnny to catch it. Although, why is having a bad tooth contagious? Why is it? Why is that a sickness? <laughs> but and that that was the whole, that was the whole thing. Why she's been running away from her? She doesn't want Johnny to catch what she gets. A bad tooth. <laughs> but and this is like, this is why see uh. Why Jivey's now more human because she's now she's relieved of this. She didn't, that's why she didn't do anything wrong. But still, she still cr she cries in front of Crow Crow, saying, "Oh, I'm so glad, and happy, and all that stuff." As honest at this point, she's human now. She's been humanized, and that's really great to see. You know how Jahi for once from the, from the from the beginning, she was a ruthless second in command of the dark of the dark realm. You know, torturing, especially you know, torturing, doing whatever she pleased. But ever since coming to the human world, especially be befriending a girl like Kokoro, even with her boss and landlady and all stuff and everyone else though, but she has grown so much more human than than her former self as a as a demon itself. And especially with the, also with the magical girl who tried to destroy, but she makes her makes her her friend too. So, yeah, but so she has become she has become human basically, and that was really great to see. And you see it on our emotions and stuff like that, right? How uh, how how a, a ruthless second in command of the dark realm just has fallen to this being so soft, sympathetic, you know, and all that, right? But I thought it was really great for her how further how much her character has has grown throughout this whole series, and then then dealing with, then going dealing with um that um the land land lady and her boss um are telling Jahi that there's a ghost there's a goat uh, you ever believe in ghosts there's a ghost that's been going around the neighborhood you know with rumors that this ghost has been telling people do you want power. And it's kind of like sucking the, like, lifting the souls out of the person. You see it as this spirit flying around of people, scaring people. At first, Jolly's like, ah, oh, that's, that's silly. That's a ghost. That's a silly, basically. And then even Lele brings to the point where, remember a few episodes, um, some ep some episodes back where, where she couldn't, where Jolly couldn't sleep because she's been hearing noises next door, being very loud next door. But it turns out that, 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 um, the, that part of next door was empty. Um, landlady addresses that, you know. They say that all the doors and windows were locked. Seeing how that's strange, that kind of, kind of, that's kind of like freaking Jai out a little bit, you know. So I like that how that that one part of that, that incident did not. You thought that was not going to be mentioned again, but landlady addresses it here. It's so, okay. Cool, all right? I finally they addressed that 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 they just assumed that soon must have been a ghost, but no one's in there, right? The, the doors and windows are locked. At least that at least that was addressed. So And then later in the night, Jolly's been hearing noises and it's been basically scaring her. <laughs> Thinking it was the wind, and they suddenly think there's someone at the door, but there's no one there. She freaks out, she runs, and then she runs into not the ghost though, but that spirit. That kinda of, that spirit that this golden spirit that kinda of looks like the dark the dark lord. Because the, the dark the dark lord it, the Dark Lord has this certain hairstyle with horns that she has. This golden spirit has that same silhouette of her 
same type of hairstyle in a way and with the horns. Then it makes you wonder: is that the, is this like the good side of the of the Dark Lord's good side? I don't know because it has it does it has, it has the exact almost the exact same head shape that she has, the hair look and the horns. So that's that's uh, that's one thing to wonder about. Is it, is it like her good side? But then it, it, it goes and tells go tells Jai, do you want power? She's saying no, no, no. <laughs> so and and then when it goes like go when it tries to go for her, Druji out of the blue saves her. You know, it, it saves saves her, and it's like more like a more of the part with with her and Drew and Druji because. I know. I, I see that the Drew, that, that Jahi, she doesn't want to lie to Druji anymore, because you know she's been put on this act. You know, thinking that she's um, this still this cold-hearted, ruthless, ruthless second in command that, that Druji knew. But the thing is, though, she's been, she's more human now, humanized. She doesn't want to lie to her anymore. And this one part where she transforms into her real self, so like uh, asking Druji, "Can I count on you to help me?" Asking her for help, and I, and I like the fact that um, Druji didn't. Uh, um, didn't think any negative thoughts about it. You know, she's just very happy that oh, she wants my help. You know, she didn't act. Ailey, she didn't act like in a way like what? You need my help? After all this time, not like that kind of reaction. It's like she just happily asks, oh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll help you. Your greatness, your greatness want my help? Okay, I'll do it. So yeah, and I, and I believe the fact that yeah, I think eventually, eventually, maybe in the next episode that that she's gonna finally tell the whole. Th- a Druji, the whole truth about her, like how soft she has been, and that the heads that Druji has been right all this time. So I want to hear. I still want to hear what she fully tells Druji the truth. I still want to hear that. <laughs> but the thing is, though, Druji has changed as well because she's been humanized as well, living in, this, in the human world. So she's she's the same thing. So I'm sure she's like, you know what? You're, you're but the thing is, though. Regardless of all that, though, you're still yourself, basically. You're still yourself. So, but I still want to tell you here, oh, this, this, that apartment I'm living in, that, that we once called, that teensy thing, that's where I live. And I don't own this pub, I just work in it. I'm an employee, too. <laughs> but I still like to hear that truth, though. But, and then, so she's counting on it, she wants to, she wants Juju to ask for her to help, and they're going to team up, and then the spirit goes, huh? What? <laughs> Seems like like the the that's the golden spirit is like at a loss. Like wait, what what are you doing? <laughs> and then it ends right there. So, so yeah, <laughs> I like the fact this whole thing was a bit. This, there's a lot of misunderstandings in this, so I I enjoy and I I enjoy it. That was kind of fun. It was funny throughout this whole series, and I like the fact that the whole bonding with, with more bonding with between Jahi and Kokoro. How she, I know, is so happy that uh, that Coco is not avoiding her because she had a bad tooth. She's happy of that. She's still happy for her to be her friend. And like I said, and the whole thing with Sawa is that oh, she's, she's got all this power, but it's useless against against Jahi because you know she's not evil anymore. She's a good person now. So. And like I said, I wonder if that or the whole thing explanation with that whole golden spirit because it kind of it does look like the, it does look an exact duplicate. The silhouette looks like the Dark Lord though. And the whole thing with uh, with the whole thing with the ghost thing, it was kind of it was it was funny. And um, how you now Jai is asking Juji for her help. That's nice, you know. And uh, they're gonna team up, you know. So yeah, after this, now we got two more episodes to go, and I'm looking forward to it. Because if even as much as I want, as much as I want a second season. Because I want to see more, uh, more of this, uh, more f- of this fun anime, this gem of an anime to, to continue. Though, as much as I want a second season, right? Don't get me wrong, but if it ends the way as as perfectly as as I as I think it is, I'm perfectly fine with it. Because I do like a second season, though. But I, if it ends the way it is, I'll be fine with it. Because because after all, I think I think by the end that. Um, that Jahi, Druji, they're gonna stay in the human world. They don't want to go back to the dark world, their dark realm, because you know they like this. They like it here much more than it was before. So I assume they're just gonna to stay here and stay in the in the in the human world. But great Jahi episode eighteen, uh, Saw will not lose. I still need to remember that's the that's the episode. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, 
it was still another, another another good another solid episode. I still I I enjoyed it. Like I said, this whole entire season, I have not once found not one episode unlikable. Not once. Every episode has been great, awesome, fantastic. Everywhere the good uh, positive words in between. Um, I'm sure people did would disagree. Oh, it's a flawed anime. Well, I, to me, I didn't see no flaws in this, in my opinion. But yeah, so that's that's my thoughts on the episode 18. Really enjoyed episode. Uh, so, so really solid episode. I can't wait how this last two will go. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, review. Uh, I got, let's say I got more movie reviews coming and the next preview discussion coming up later.